Here is a top class animation I made using one free AI tool. I will give you $100 if you let me win this game. I will also clean your room. I know mom told you to do that, so I am not falling for that TikTok trend again. Hi Haley, what do you call a man with no money? I don't know what people call them, but for me, I would call him my ex. This is a simple drag and drop animation that anyone can create, and we're only using free AI tools. First, you'll need to get some trending scripts similar to the one I showed you, like dad jokes, what do you call memes, or even isn't that concerning jokes. You can easily find these on TikTok. Just make sure to pick short ones. Next, it's time to generate the audio, and we have two great options for this. The first is Eleven Labs, which offers a free plan that gives you 10,000 free characters, plenty for this animation. But if you're looking for a completely free text-to-speech option, just search for bossmediatech.com, head over to the AI Tools section, scroll down, and select the free text-to-speech tool. For this tutorial, I'm using Eleven Labs, and it's as simple as pasting your script. Then, choose a speaker or explore their voice library for even more options. Once you've selected your voice type, click Generate, and just like that, our audio is ready. Now it's time to create the characters! To do that, head over to bossmediatech.com and from the AI Tools menu, scroll down and select the specific AI tool. I'm doing this because last time when I mentioned Adobe, some people ended up on the wrong product, so make sure to access it directly through Boss Media Tech. Once you click on it and sign up, you'll land on the dashboard. Next, click on the plus button and move to the Quick Actions tab. Scroll down and choose the Animate Characters option. It will bring you to a page filled with cartoon and human-like characters. I'm going to show you exactly how I made the examples I shared earlier. Our first character is this boy named Jackson. Select him, adjust his size, and place him properly within the frame. Now, go to Backgrounds, select Indoors, and choose a room that fits. Position the character in the frame, then click on the Browse button to upload the audio we generated earlier with Eleven Labs. Select the file, and the AI will automatically sync the character to the audio. After a minute or so, it's done. And here's the result. Hi, Haley. What do you call a man with no money? This is our first character, so just download it. And now we're ready to make the second one. Next, let's move on to creating the second character, following the same steps as before. First, click on the plus button, then navigate to the Quick Actions tab. From here, select Animate Characters. Once you're on the character selection page, scroll down until you find the girl character. There she is. Simply select her. Now for the background, go to the background section and set the option to indoors. Choose the room that we used earlier. Once you've selected the room, drag the girl character and place her carefully on top of the couch. Make sure to position her well and adjust her size so everything looks natural. Next, click on the browse button and select the audio you generated for this character. I've already created separate audio or voiceovers for all the characters in the video, but I won't show each one here, as it would make the video too long. Just know that you can generate unique audio for each character using a text-to-speech tool like Eleven Labs. Now we have the characters ready, but they are on two separate clips. To make the final video, we need to combine them using CapCut. However, before jumping into CapCut, I also made a second video that features the girl and the boy playing a game together. I sped up the process for this part of the tutorial to save time, but don't worry, there's nothing different here. All the characters I used are available in the same options, so you can easily find them. Once both videos are created and downloaded, we'll head over to CapCut to combine them into a single, cohesive animation. Let's get started on that now. For the final step, Open a new project in CapCut and import the two videos you created into the timeline. I'll walk you through the process with one of the videos, and once you understand the technique, you can apply these same tricks to many other videos. It's a straightforward method, so I recommend following along closely. Now, I have both videos loaded here, plus a black background. First, drag the first video onto the timeline. This is the clip where the girl is speaking as she starts the conversation. Once it's on the timeline, drag the second clip on top of it. This second clip is the one where the boy is speaking. Now click on the boy's clip and crop it until it's halfway across the screen as I'm showing you here. Make sure that none of the background or bed from the girl's side is visible. To be more precise, align the crop line where there are no objects or distractions as I'm doing by positioning it exactly where the screen looks clean. 
This will ensure that the cut is smooth and seamless. Once cropped, drag the boy's clip to a corner of the screen and fit it perfectly so that the split between the two clips is unnoticeable. Next, we'll freeze the boy's clip using CapCut's freeze feature. To do this, go to the beginning of the boy's clip and split it. Delete the remaining portion of the clip after the split and then apply the freeze effect to the small section that remains. The reason we're freezing the boy's clip is to make him stay silent while the girl continues speaking. After freezing the clip, extend it so that it lasts as long as the girl's clip, just as I'm demonstrating here. Now, the first part is done. For the second part, it's the boy's turn to speak, so we need to drag the clip where he is talking and crop it again. This time, the crop allows the girl to appear on screen, but will freeze her clip just like we did for the boy earlier. To make it simple, when one character is speaking, freeze the other character's clip, and crop the video in a way that hides any unnecessary parts of the other clip. The key is to ensure that the inactive character remains frozen while the active character is speaking. This creates a smooth back and forth conversation effect, making the video look clean and professional. Follow the same approach for both clips to maintain consistency throughout the entire video. Now it's time to add the funny background music that I used in the example. Adding the right background music really enhances the mood and makes your video more engaging, especially for platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. To add it to your video, head over to the Audio tab in CapCut. From there, search for the track titled Stupid Laughing. Once you find it, click to add it to your clip. It's important to make sure the music isn't too loud so that it doesn't overpower the voices of your characters. You can easily adjust the volume by dragging the volume slider down until it complements your video without drowning out the dialogue. After the music is added, go to the end of the video and delete any excess part of the audio, since the music track will likely be longer than your video. This will ensure the music matches the length of your clip perfectly. Now let's take a final listen to see how everything flows together. I will give you $100 if you let me win this game. I will also clean your room. I know mom told you to do that, so I am not falling for that TikTok trend again. Once you're happy with the results, just click on the export button and your video is ready to be shared across platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or even Instagram Reels. Before we wrap up, I want to encourage you all to give this a try. Creating videos like this is not only fun, but it's also a fantastic way to engage your audience and stand out on platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. With the help of free AI tools, you can easily make animated videos that look professional without spending a dime. So why not start now and see where your creativity takes you? And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on new content. Let's keep growing together as creators.